Backstream is reloaded, my name is Tom and let's get right into the news. And first up, as always, we've got the updates on the bans from the previous week. So first up we had Bad Bunny who got banned for sexual content. This was for wearing a swimsuit in a bathtub. Her ban was 24 hours and therefore is now unbanned. Next up we had Jason Ayo who got banned for sharing his opinion on girl streamers. His ban is 14 days, as of right now is still banned, but he's also set to be unbanned on Tuesday. And then finally we had Ocean Last who got banned for hateful conduct. Her ban was permanent and as of right now is still banned. Starting off on Monday, we had Wreckful who had a bit of a breakdown on stream. Here he was talking about his WoW account that got banned in 2014 for account sharing. He's been over this a few times on stream, but here he really shared his emotions on how much he cares for his account. <laughs> I didn't even know I had emotions to this. That's crazy. This does genuinely seem like someone who wants his account unbanned. If he wanted, he could just create a new one and play on that. But he did say he's put over eight years worth of time into that account, and that's most likely why he wants it back. And so because of this, a petition has been created on change.org to get his account unbanned. As of right now, it's on 3,200 signatures. I'm pretty sure this petition won't do anything, but it is something that happened. Following on, we have Evo, where two of the players in the match decided to troll the crowd by waiting out the timer in Super Smash Bros until one of the employees came over and threatened them with disqualification if they didn't continue the match the way it was intended. They're testing Can we go up my there? commentary resilience, and that's okay, because hey. Yeah, you have to play. Oh, dang. Dang! Yo! Following on to Tuesday, we have a bit of banter between XQC and LOL Tyler one because of the Streamer of the Year awards coming up. By the way, you can still vote on your favourite streamer if you haven't already. I would suggest though, if you do, don't use your real email to submit. Anyway, here are the two clips. Donated and said they voted for XQC Smile. How, what do you think about XQC and him getting your votes? I feel like you're absolutely clueless if you vote for him. Is he a good guy? Yes. Do we deem a little bit on Twitter? Yes. I like him. I like it. I do. He's in my stream. Talk a lot. He's a subscriber. Uh, he's almost a one-year sub. I like him. But if you are delusional enough to vote for that smelly fuck, you're out of your mind, dude. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. I heard um, I have inside info about the event in London for the, the prizes. Apparently, the booth where you say uh, your acceptance speech is about five foot eight. So even if you vote for him and he wins, he won't be able to deliver his speech. They cut off on funding, dude. They might not be able to, buy, to, to make a new, uh, a new booth. As well as that, during one of the ESP TV events, this is one of those LAN events where you can go along and set yourself up on one of their computers. Someone decided to put their wallet down at one of the machines. Two kids came up and stole it. On to Thursday, a IRL stream who goes by the name Lol Thulu caught a car chase in progress. Here's that clip. I guess I was really high on that. Jesus! Fuck! Holy shit, it's a police chase! Holy shit! I almost died! Wow! I'm going! And following on on Thursday, we now have the information that Twitch are going to be separating the IRL categories into the following. Art, hobbies and crafts, food and drink, music and performance arts, beauty and body art, science and technology, just chatting, travel and outdoors, sports and fitness, tabletop RPGs, special events, talk shows and podcasts, and finally ASMR. They've also told us that this will be going into effect mid-September. And personally, I don't think anything's going to change here. Most people are just going to use the most popular one and change their content to fit that. And on to Friday, we only have one that comes from the H3H3 podcast. They have switched their live streaming over to YouTube, and during their Friday podcast, they were talking about Alex Jones. Here, YouTube gave them an automatic strike, and as I have told you guys before, when you receive your first strike on YouTube, you lose the ability to live stream. Therefore, along with the strike against the podcast, the stream went down. It, yeah. Wow. We, uh, we just got taken down by YouTube. They just killed our stream. Really? Yep. Hmm. Why? Community guidelines. Oh, we can't show his footage? Video content restriction. Wow. We can't even show his footage. 
Jesus. Wow. How stupid are you, YouTube? After this, H3 did tweet at Team YouTube, of which they've now had the strike removed, but the remainder of the live stream had to be watched just through the normal upload. And coming into Saturday, we have quite a big one that comes from ST Peach. And this all revolves around her and her manager, and starts with her manager who lied about his age, saying he was 26 when he was actually 17, and he has also been working for her for a couple years now. And so as a part of being her manager, he has a lot of control over her social medias. And so she told us on stream that her manager has been lying about who he was, and because of this she decided to fire and block him. Even after I found out that he was lying about he, who, where he lived, who he was, how old he was, everything, I said, please don't ever do this to anyone again. Please don't ever try to contact me. Please just leave me alone and I'm gonna block you now. This person told me that they were like 26 year old from like a place and they told me things like, they told me things like that they had a wife that abused them and a child that passed away and I was there to like say I would pray for you and be there for you and try to be the best friend that I could possibly be and the entire time was just a whole lie You've just been saying all this lies and so after firing and blocking this person, this person then went on to attack her social medias, of which he was able to take down her YouTube channel, which as of right now is still down, as well as he took down her Twitter. But it looks like her Twitter has been reinstated, so that one's been sorted. Also from looking at the rest of her social medias, it doesn't seem like anything else was affected. And has attacked me, has got my Twitter account suspended, has tried to report my Instagram, has deleted all my alerts, has banned my top donators, has reported my Discord, deleted my YouTube. A few final points I want to make that come from this. Peach told us that this person does have her identity. Hopefully that doesn't mean her address gets leaked or anything like that. She's also told us that she's taken legal action against him, but didn't disclose as to what that is. And finally, when she was even streaming, this person was trying to do even more damage. So that's where I'm going to leave this one. Here are those clips. I'm really sensitive, but you have to understand this is not just some small thing. Like, he, he has my information. Like, my identity. It's not, like, something simple. The details of, like, what I've done legally because I don't want him, he could be watching. Like, I have to keep checking my phone because I'm afraid that like, he's gonna try to hack or something into my accounts again. Like, I keep ch constantly just checking if my Instagram is still around. Yes, I just got an email saying we got a request to reset your Instagram password. Like, right as we speak. He's trying to. So the final bit of news this week comes from Ninja, where he made a few statements that had to do with female streamers, saying, I don't play with female streamers, and that playing with them could start rumours of a relationship, and so the only way to avoid these accusations is to not play with them at all. And so I do have a clip that comes from Ninja to show that comes from after all of this, but just before I do, I'm seeing mainly two sides to this argument. And so the two sides I am seeing is that number one, people are calling Ninja sexist because he doesn't want to play with female streamers, while on the other side he's just responding respecting his relationship by not playing with girl streamers. He did also tweet out saying that almost everything he says turns into a YouTube title, and he doesn't want something like this to turn into clickbait on YouTube. The best example I have here is with Pokimane and TSM Myth. Finally, I am noticing that most of the girl streamers that have responded to this seem to be on Ninja's side. But anyway, here's what Ninja had to say on stream afterwards. Yeah, I'm literally, there's a reason I'm distracted right now, man. I'm trying to like, just follow all of this garbage after that Polygon interview, man. <laughs> Not an interview, interview, an article. And some people are just straight up, like, fabricating things that were said. I'll just summarize it one last time, just because, I mean... I need to make this perfectly clear, because somehow people are... twisting a little Polygon article about me not wanting to stream with other female streamers. 
I have nothing against female streamers, dude. In fact, like, there's some amazing ones out there. Of course, just, like, there's nothing better about male streamers than female streamers. It's simple, and this is the only thing that matters. People are, are overanalyzing this situation, and my choice, I'm not to play with other women. Listen, it's literally because anything that I say, everything that I do, gets taken on the internet right now and construed into something else every time, dude. They take one little clip, one little five second sound bite of a 30 second discussion, and then they manipulate it into what they want it to say. I've had articles written about it, like about me about, for things like that, like, and they don't even tell the full story. It's a total joke. But all I want to do is literally make sure that there's as little rumors as possible and stupid clickbait. Like, in respect to the relationship of me and my wife, man, I have everything to lose right now, dude. The last thing I want to be doing is just, is taking risks and, and like, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It, it. Like, I don't, and people are saying, like, I'm being sexist. Like, are you kidding me? And so that is it for the video today. So finally in leaked news, we got one more video from Celestia Vega. But at this point, I'm pretty sure she's just fully fledged. And as always, links to everything I talk about in the video will be linked in the Reddit link down below. And finally, we are on 129,000 subscribers. So hopefully today we'll hit 130,000. Whether we do or don't, thank you guys so much. And so that is it. I want to thank you guys for watching as normal. And I'll see you in the next one.